Look, it's still there. Look, it's still there. Run, run, look in the... Oh, yep. Oh, my God. Oh, oh I'm so thrilled. Oh, yep. That's for sure not. Let's give it a go. I might bite you. Ready for a fun session? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Construction zone right here. This little beach. Hello everyone, we're at Stockton Beach. I'm filming the intro later after a session, but we met up with a good friend, Jeff. We're just going to be going for some Jewfish, and later in the day, we will have a bit of a surprise for you with uh, what we get on the other side of the break wall. Stay tuned, keep watching. Any luck? We're actually at the other jetty. We we're just um, around the ferry wharf going for some live bait. That's where we're going, lads. Just right there. Oh, the smell of bait, prawns. It's like those blue tubs that you find at the back of those utes and things at the fish markets. The blue tub? Oh, the smell of it. Yeah. It smells like a, like a rubbish bin. It actually smells putrid in here. Good thing you guys can't smell this. It's a good sign. I'll pick it up. Yeah. Here's that side. Tuna oil. Tuna oil. How about you just put it on top and we'll chuck it out later. And look at this, there's definitely yakis in here. Here's the jetty. Brian's some, just some chucking some bread with water inside. Hopefully we catch some yakis. Yeah, what I've done to save myself some money is just make my own bait jig. Just put two hooks. They're probably a really small one, size, size 12, with one of these dropper sinkers. It's Jeff. Yeah, got something. Oh. Oh, bloody oh, hell. Bloody toads. Brian just got, a, got one of these things, a puffer fish, or we call them a toad. Now, these things don't have spikes at all, so you can completely touch them. Is it another porcupine? Now, these are, I think, one of fishermen's worst nightmares. You can catch them on the beach, you can catch them in the estuaries, you can catch them everywhere. But, um, look at his teeth. Holy crap. Oh, here's a pike. Here's a porcupine. No, he ain't. No? No, oh, you're mistaken. A little glamour shot. <laughs> it might bite you. Oh, see what I mean? That. You see what I mean? He bites. He goes. Bro, I thought, I thought freaking Brian was joking, but there's actually a squid in here. You can see. Just how dark it is. First cast, we got one fish already, so I'm hoping we can get a couple of you. Roll it back to the break wall. But uh, we couldn't get any. Just using a little bit of worm with the methylated spirits and I've just casted it right up there. Not too far, not too close. Don't yeet it when you're doing it just because jewies aren't going to be that far. Oh, that's bite. Oh! Yeah, it's on. Choppers. Yeah, wish it was legal. <laughs> I can take the spinner if you want. Yeah, I'll go, I want to go down there. If a bolt comes, I get, I'm going to get smashed, but... Oh, look at that distance you can chuck, Jesus. So, just let that sinker sink. Sinker, what am I talking about? Just let that spinner sink. So you get straight to the bottom, just because there are a couple tailors at the bottom. Just one brought Brian caught earlier. Real fast. Let it sink a bit. Let the tailor know that it's there. Recast it. Do another, what, thousand times and you get one fish eventually. Patience is key, guys. Patience is key. Do you guys see that little gang hook over there? Got to go on a little mission. Oh. Baited? One. Sean, you mean baited? For it's a little Jew. So you got something? Here's a brim. Flatty. Is that a flatty? Or is that a Jew? Yeah, it is a Jewy. What do you reckon? <laughs> 
Do we move up just a little? Him. Yeah, go yeah, past go him, past I reckon. Him. Yeah. Hey, Jeff, do you think those Jewfish made their way down there? <laughs> you think we should go back there? <laughs> there. Baitfish. Yeah. Yeah, right in front. Look to be Taylor. They're right in front of you now. Oh, they're Taylor. Yeah, nothing. Look at all that bust up. What is that? That's definitely Benito. That's Benito. What is it? What is it? Is there? Guys, that was freaking gnarly. Brian literally just hooked up to a massive bean eater beforehand. You can still see him busting just right there. Have a look. But yeah, he just hooked up to a freaking massive bonito. Unfortunately, ran his run to snag, so we had to chuck on, chuck on a different spinner. But they're right there, and he's finally got one now. So let's have a look. This is what I love, though. This is what I love about fishing, man. We've caught our first bonito ever with a spinner. I'll show you the I'll show you the spinner that did the damage, guys. Have a look at that. That's what did the damage. Literally just buy from Big W. That's all you need. Big W spinners are the way to go. But they're still sort of there. They'll start busting up again. They'll start coming closer. So um, oh I love this moment. This is the best moment. First bonito, first tuna ever. Oh, I'm so thrilled. A little bit too short, a little bit too short. You can see him just right there. Busting up right now. There's a small one though, like that, ran you into that. Oh, That's crazy. Look at the drag I've got. Come here. Oh, oh my god, oh my god! Bro. Cast behind the school. Come on, three, two, one. Oh, yep. Oh my god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Oh, it's a big one. Let me take you, let me take you, bro. Oh, shoot, I don't know where to go now. Oh, back off the drag slightly. Guys, this is crazy. Oh, oh my God. Oh, you ain't pulling dude. line yet. Oh. Eight pound break, that I should let, may I just say, eight pound break, this is crazy. Coming oh, yeah. It's coming. it's coming in to the right. To the right? Yeah, get around in front. This is a big one. Uh, yeah, he's a big one. Uh, yeah, he's a big one. Uh, or at least if he's fell hooked, he's not that big, but. Oh. He's not. Oh, he's fell hooked. He's fell hooked. No wonder he's not so big. Bigger. Is it bigger? Yeah, he's bigger. I'm going to try and knock the hooks out. Yeah. Go again, go again. Guys, we live for this moment right now. We got eight pound braid on a freaking mini estuary rod, like six foot nine with a spinner. But I'm telling you guys, we're up. Oh, it's crazy. It's actually crazy down here. Oh, I've got my, I've got my net here. I'm literally staying on rocks. I'm going to be going in oysters just so I can get these bonitas because I hope no one steals their stuff though. Yep. yep. Not as big as he. No, he's not as big. Oh, still Benito. He's small. Oh, actually. It's 
snagged me. Oh, he's still on. But you are snagged. Just snagged though. Oh, he's still on. Yep, he's out. He's out? Yep. Oh, shoot. Yeah, he's a salt one. Oh, he's... I just pushed it out. Oh, there's no legal size to these buddies, so... Oh, yeah, that's a bonito. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Last couple of bonitos. Yeah. First, so First he's... Bonito ever, so <laughs> well, we've actually got three ready, but... There was something like this big, just went up straight, went up. It looked like a bloody jewfish right in front of you. Look, it's still there, look, it's still there. Right in front, look at the rocks, in between the rocks and the water. There's like a school of them. Yep. Oh, there's a fish, there's a fish. There is a fish. See it? Yeah, it's a tiny white thing. It's not tiny. He's like a brim. Yeah, like a baby brim or something. Or like a Drop him there. Drop him here, screw him more. Nah. Oh, yep. Oh. Is, oh. You sure there's something? Was yeah. It? No way weed does this to your plastic. You messed up my. Yeah, he did dint. Oh, that's. A... Oh. Is that pin marks? Just go, just chuck in there. It's not a big jewel, yeah, but why did it swallow it? Oh, that was a juice. No, that, that was big. a brim. Oh, big lootery. I'm really exhausted, same as Brian. Yeah, we drank all our water from my from my ice bucket. Unfortunately for you, Jeff, as soon as you left, we got Benito. So better luck next time, mate. All right, guys. Now let's do the catch and cook part of these Benito. They don't have any scales, so it's no point of trying to scale this thing. Keep the knife always away from you. Now, if you're wondering what this thing is, this is the row. Now, how to gut the fish, really easy. Break the back. You should be able to pull the guts out almost in one go. Now, this backbone here, make sure you cut that open and clean out the blood. Same for any fish, not just bloody fish like tuna. Make sure you guys bleed it, otherwise all you'll taste is blood and this white meat here will be red. Now we'll fillet him. There we go. Beautiful fillet. Skin the fish is pretty easy. Try not to waste too much meat. It's a bit of blood there. Remove those pin bones. So these two fillets here, we're going to be using them as a salted slab bait. I'm going to be using the frame as worming bait and crab bait. So how I salt my baits, I get salt on top of them, spread it around, give them a nice coating, and do the same thing to the skin side, and pack them in the resealable bag for next time. Very simple salt, pepper, fish. Okay, I'm putting the exhaust fan on. Good luck if you can hear me. Cucumber. Avo. Matt, two cups of sushi rice, sushi seasoning. Nice pieces of tuna right here. Here is our so-called trash fish, Benito, with some cucumbers and avocado. Okay, we've got the ST in the BST. This is my, this is more, this is my first ever time trying Benito. I'm pretty sure you've already tried it already, so I don't think there's any fish in here. <laughs> what do you reckon? Mate. That's disgusting. Oh. Disgustingly good. Oh, thank, mm. thank you. 
Oh, wait, that's actually good. Give this a go, guys. Just simply, just what, what did you do, Chef? Tell me. What what you do? Uh, basically, it's just a mix of salt, pepper, with a bit of butter, uh, pan fried, mm. and it just works so well. So don't listen to everybody else. Give it a go. And I swear, banana was actually a great taste as long as you bleed them. But they taste nice. Like this is insane. Taste better than this freaking canned tuna. Anyways, that's a wrap guys. I'm gonna finish eating this. This is lovely. And I'll see you in the next video.